Okay, so today I'm going to be unboxing some LED disco ball lights, which you can use in your room or your studio setup, or if you're going to have a party with people. Now this set does contain two disco balls, which are right here, which are decent size, and they can be attached to the ceiling if you want to, you know, spice up the night and then also there's a back bit as well where you can store batteries but you can connect it with the USB-C so you can have it on the power supply if you want to directly run it from the mains there is that option for you guys to use like so there's two there you can put them to one side and then we have the cable that charges it there's also one for the second one and then there are two remotes that you can use, which goes together nicely. Take these out, just so you, the batteries are working. And then we have the instruction manuals. And there's also there's one more bit in here as well. There's a card. If you guys want to pause and read? You can do that. Just tell you about the product, and that they love to hear from us if there's any issues. Put it to one side. Okay, so it tells you about how to clean it. It also shows you how to adjust it on the wall. So that's quite good. And it also tells you about the remote as well, which I don't think none of this is in English. <laughs> it's not in English. So um, yeah, that's something you need to look forward to. Um, but yeah, but apparently these, maybe they're meant to come off. I'm not entirely sure. There we go. Oh, they're suction cups. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, damn, that's good. So I can attach that onto the surface. Oh, that is good. So instead of having to a wall, I can just... Okay, we might have to try that out then. Uh, let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to try and attach it to this wall. Um, mostly this is just the light that shines down when I do my recordings. But I've got the flap open. I'm just going to let's stick it here for now and then close that and it works. Obviously, I need batteries in it, but I'm just saying that it, it works on wood. Obviously, because it's a suction cup, but I'm just saying it can work on a... It did <laughs> work on wood for a brief moment until it fell off. We're going to try this on my window because it won't be able to fail. Let's just stick that there. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Nice and secure, doesn't look like it's going to fall off. This is how it is. And you can also tighten it as well if you want to keep it in place. If not, you can screw it and just have it in an angle if you're choosing. So I would say, good product on that surface. I just want to show this off first. This is it saying on, but off is on. And on is off. I just want to show that now because uh, that might have been a mistake in putting this together. But it's not an issue. It still works. But um, yeah, off is on. On is off. Really confusing. Just thought I'd throw it in there. Don't know if yours is about this, but mine's like this. 12 seconds later. Uh, another bit of discovery that I found. That if you plug it into the mains, off it's off. And on is on. I... I uh, it's Hogwarts finest mystery. I have, I have no idea how, how putting it into the mains makes on on and off off. Whereas if it's on batteries, off is on, on is off. It, it, okay, we solve the mystery of the device. So basically, we have the remote and there's some buttons on the remote, like you can push A, the, the numbers, and they change the color, which is nice. In speed, you also have um, start and stop, so 
so you can stop it if you want like so uh, if you're into that you can start it to make a move again you also have music so you put music one and if you talk it starts going and i would use music but the only difference with that if i use music I would get copyright strike on my YouTube channel. So to avoid a strike on my channel, I'm using my voice. So every time I talk, it will pick up my voice and play a sound. Like, play, you know, the lights. The lights will come on. And it will probably go well with the sound of music. Uh, but as it says I don't sing and I can't play any copyright music, because um, I get a strike, I have to use my voice. But you get the idea. And there's two as well. You can also just change it. So you have a faster one motion plane. You also have the third one. Which stays on like that. But when you speak, it flashes. Like going to a disco rave. And you've got the DJ playing. You can also turn up the lights as well. To make it more speed. You can also stop it. Or just, I think you can go to clear, and it will go back to that, and go back to blue, and you can just start moving again. So there's other stuff like that you can do. You can also increase the light bulbs or the flashing if you want. So it all just really depends on what settings that you're accustomed to, and what you feel comfortable doing. I still think it's a pretty good product. I think, you know, if you're going to use a product, at least use it in a style that's going to be most appropriate for you. Now, I may not be able to use this as many much times as I like, but I feel like if I'm streaming, this is somehow a good product to have at least, at least feel and be like, you know, I can have this on stream and play it. If a new sub comes in, or a new viewer, or if I do something that's credit a disco rave, the disco ball is there. That's the sense of it. But that's the quick unboxing and demonstration video of that. But if you guys did enjoy, remember please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll leave links in the description. Obviously, I'm trying to keep it night time, so this actually works, but... Yes, I will leave the link in the description for this product. Check it out on Amazon, and I'll see you in the next awesome unboxing demonstration video. Until then, take care.